to whom much is given, much is required. As I began to reach levels in life that people where I came from never reached, I felt like something had to be done. Being blessed to be in my position, I picked up the baton, living proof that kids could grow up in the hood, in a single parent home, have a parent on drugs, whatever it may be, and can still defy the odds and reach new heights. When my dad was arrested, I realized how long he'd be away. You know, I just thought to myself, how did we get here? Although he's older, knowing the life he used to live and knowing the life that so many of our young black men are living, I'm like, yo, there, there has to be a way to fix this. Basketball saved my life, but it also hurt my life. At an early age, you know, I, I was like into the streets. And basketball, probably really saved my life. It took me from in the streets and gave me something to do that I love. I want to help someone. I really can relate to kids or come through kids through playing basketball. Understanding basketball, it taught me a lot about life. Basketball, you know, saved my life for real. So many kids where I'm from love the game of basketball, but they don't realize just how much basketball teaches us about life. It teaches us about perseverance, commitment, accountability, adaptability, triumph, courage. The list is endless. What are the odds that the son of a former basketball star that was a drug dealer and addict would make it and graduate from one of the world's best business schools? cycle was broken with me and a big reason was that my dad knew what not to do and now we can share all of that with you discussion centered around ball and life is what this podcast is all about